So today I'm going to show you guys how to make a producer tag for free. I know I struggled a lot with uh, producer tags because no one really does it for free. So you kind of have to like wing it yourself. And I feel like a lot of producers already have like someone that made it for them. So it's kind of getting like redundant with, you know, people just recording their vocals and using it as a tag. I saw Cody uh, from Internet Money did a video on this, but I feel like not a lot of people saw it or um, really like used it at all. And I feel like it's really helpful, especially for like producers that are just starting. The first thing you want to do is go to getyarn.io. This is a website that basically has clips from from series and music videos and movies and you can just type in any phrase and um, you know it'll pop up which I suggest you type in a phrase instead of a word because sometimes when you search for only like a single word uh, the clip kind of like cuts off halfway try and get like a, a, a sentence or something that has something to do with your name or you know whatever you like so I got this clip from Tango and Cash no idea what movie this is but um yeah this is the clip Fire. Yeah, we're cooking now. as soon as you have your video you can right click on the video and say save video as then you need to do some hacker man shit and at the file name just say dot wave at the end and it'll automatically save it as a wave file and as soon as you have that you want to drag and drop your file into fl next thing you want to do is get it on time this is kind of hard to explain but i just kind of like tweak around with it until i get it so i'll just keep the metronome on and then just let it play and try and like cut it up to get it on time yeah, we're now. okay so i got that on time i just kind of want to automate this volume a bit so that it doesn't like cut in but it like fades in and as soon as you have it on time, you basically have your tag. Now you just need to add some effects on. Uh, the first thing I would do is just add some EQ to it. I usually go on like the radio effect and then you can kind of just like play around with it. Yeah, we're talking now. Next, I just added some fresh air, which like boosts the high and mid range of, uh, of the audio. So the, the sentence is just like a bit clearer. Yeah, we're and then lastly, I just added a reverb. Uh, you can add whatever. I just feel like it, it gives it a bit more body. After that, you can just kind of go crazy with effects. I know a lot of people add like delays to their tags, like tape stops and shit. So I'm going to try and mess around with it a bit and see what we can do. So I think I got something. I just added a bit delay to it and a tape stop at the end. Yeah, we're talking now. We're talking now. We're talking now. As soon as you got that, uh, you can export your tag. So the next thing you want to do is to get a time stretch, which basically means that whenever you drag it into a project, it's always going to be on time. Doesn't matter what the BPM is. Really fucking handy because <laughs> I didn't really know about this. I always just stretched it out every time I made a beat. So this definitely um, saves a lot of time. You want to double click on the tag, right click on this WAV file, and then go to audio editor. And then you want to right click on the title over here. After that, you just want to press on tempo sync. Uh, when you get a number at the links that isn't like an even number, just round it up to whatever number is closest and press accept. Then you can just drag and drop it from Edison into the track. And yeah, then you just want to export this one out that's time synced and you should be good to go. Uh, so let's just use it in a couple of beats for like an example, just to, to show you guys. So yeah, this isn't the best example though, because there's a lot of noise happening, but you guys get the idea. So yeah, that's about it. Um, that's how you make a beat tag for free. Really simple, really quick. Uh, you just need to find the right clip or the right audio and you should be good. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Um, I'm going to be trying to post videos uh, twice a week now. Um, I'm doing videos on my labels channel as well, 13 Tech. You can check them out in the description. Uh, we just made a Discord as well if you guys want to join. Um, it's for artists and producers. We're hosting a contest now uh, to see who can join 13 Tech Records. We got like 30 loops and 30 beats in the Discord for artists and producers to use. The best beat and the best song will get signed. We're going to be reacting to it live on our YouTube in two weeks time. Can't wait to see what you guys cook up. I think it's going to be crazy. Uh, be sure to join. Link in the description. But yeah, I'll check you guys in the next one. Peace.